Hello, my beautiful and courageous friends. It's Natalie here, and I'm here today with Nora Gedgaudis, who's a board-certified nutritional consultant and a neurofeedback specialist from Portland, Oregon. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. I want to ask Nora today, what is the effect of water and hydration? How much water do we need to be drinking with brain injury and how does it affect us when we don't have enough water? Well, the second most abundant nutrient in the brain aside from fat is water. You know, and we need water for all kinds of electrical conductance, right? And the brain is a bioelectric mm -hmm. organ. So we need water and we need electrolytes in order to basically operate the electrical you know, system in the brain. So it's very important, and, and what's also important is avoiding things that cause our brain to dehydrate. It, it's a common source, actually, of a lot of symptoms, you know, dehydration is, that is one of the easiest and cheapest fixes in the world. By being properly hydrated, you can avert a lot of issues like, you know, like fatigue and, um, and cognitive dysfunction that are associated with dehydration. Uh, it's just a good thing to do. So how much water do we need? Well, usually what I say is sort of a rule of thumb. I mean, it, you know, if, if we're looking at this sort of thing from an evolutionary perspective, our ancestors didn't walk around with water bottles and things like that. But that said, they also had a much less toxic environment than we do. We have a lot more stuff that our body has to process and detoxify than, you know, than our ancestors ever would have even fathomed in their worst nightmares. And so I think better hydration, and we also have a lot more things dehydrating us, you know, and a lot of people eat and, 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 uh, and drink things that add further to the loss of water. And so what I generally recommend is, is take your body weight, you know, divide that in half, roughly in half, and that's roughly the amount of ounces of water to kind of shoot for in a day. And if you're drinking dehydrating beverages like caffeine or alcohol, um, juices and things, believe it or not, are more dehydrating than hydrating, then you might have to add some extra water to, to that. And if you're exercising, obviously, or you're working out in the hot sun or interviewing in the hot sun, as it were, you know, <laughs> that it becomes more important, obviously, for your traveling on planes or whatever. To, to compensate a little extra for that. Hey guys, I hope you found my contribution towards this video useful and valuable because now it's your turn. And what I wanna do is I wanna hear from you and I wanna keep all of our experiences, the science and the research about this topic regarding traumatic brain injury in one place. And that's gonna be in the comment section below on the YouTube channel. So what I would love is I would love for you to go to the YouTube channel itself, not the Facebook page, but the YouTube channel so they're all kept in one place and tell us your experience regarding this topic. Did it, was it helpful for you? Was it not helpful for you? And if you have any science or any research regarding this topic, I would love for you to post the links there too. So together we can raise our voices for traumatic brain injury awareness and educate the professionals that are helping us. Together we can do this. So thank you so much for being my partner and thank you so much for putting your valuable contribution to this project.